And let's just jump right into this. I watched the, uh, the premiere earlier today. Fracture Sounds really is on a roll. And you know, with Zen and Petrichor and now Trails, it's pretty amazing. And this is another collaboration, yeah, with uh, Alexander Parsons, a violinist. Let's go for it. Let's just pull this up here. And the thing is, it's not just um, one thing. I mean, they've packed in several different instruments in here. Uh, we've got like four different things that we've got. We've got solo violin textures, cello textures, combined uh, violin and cello, uh, dulcet chord synths, a granular and a granular engine. So we're, we're just gonna go through some of these uh, together. And I'm just gonna pull up the uh, solo violin textures first. We've got the signature presets here. This is the emergence and CC1 controls the dynamic waves. could just stay right here you know what I'm saying there's so much happening in the sound in the performance and let's just take the um wow it's gorgeous let's just take the let's take the atmospheres out and let's listen to just the what the raw samples are doing the raw Isn't this interesting? And we've got uh, the reverb still here. And I, I love it because look, because we're always putting things through, uh, through Valhalla Shimmer, but they just, they give it to us. They give us a Shimmer reverb here. And that's what, uh, that's what's loaded uh, here. And we can just turn that off. Let's just turn that off. Just listen to the very raw. It's very tender, Kays. And we can turn that shimmer back on. 
shimmer just sort of blurs. And then we've got some other settings we can go in and adjust the attack and release. Let's just turn the attack up a little bit. And it just changes the shape. That is so cool. Okay, so let's uh, let's check out the flickers, the the flickers here. And what happens is we go through the articulations and all of the settings stay the same. You, uh, you know, you, if you load the snapshot again, let's see, let me just hold on. Let me hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the, uh, and this is without the atmospheres. I've muted the atmospheres so we can just, cool things that I like to do, I can control click on the articulations uh, shift. Yeah, on Windows shift click, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put emergence on, I'm going to turn the flickers down just a little bit. And um, so now I've got flickers and emergence selected. So we've got flickers going on. And then we can blend with emergence. So we've got these two layered. Shift click on the other articulations you want to select multiple ones on Windows. And then we can just blend these together. So they're already complicated, but then when you combine them together, it just takes it, it takes it into even more territory. Um, yeah, the module basically is for dynamics, but let's see here. You know what we can do? See, look at this. We can go um, and just see, I'm going to just learn the volume Okay, now look at this. Now we have. Uh, okay, you can't see that, can you? Okay, yeah, because of, of the, the the windows here. Let me see if we can. I can show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so now I just can right click and learn the CC automation. So now I've got CC one controlling the dynamics and the volume of the flickers, and that way we can kind of, kind of, you know, kind of pseudo blend. So CC1 is tied now to dynamics and the volume level of the flicker articulation. <laughs> That's kind of cool. And then we can just uh, deselect we can remove that. Okay, let's see. Bum, bum, bum. And let's go to divergence. Just different, uh, different articulation things. That's a little more aggressive sounding.
Wow. And then we've got ricochets. And let's turn the reverb down a little bit. And then we can pop the delay on. And I think uh, they were showing, Marcus was showing, um, Marcus was showing like, tape style delay. And we can pop that reverb back on. That's a lot of fun. Okay, and then short swells. Uh, let me let me just reset the um, let me just reset the articulation. Just get get things kind of back to square one. Short swells. And that put the atmospheres back on. Gives it so much space, so much space. Yeah, I'll have to check that out, Justin, about the uh, crossfade plugin. That's interesting. When we've got stutters, so they're a little irregular. It's just all random type of... Uh... And then reflections. Ooh, that's pretty. Like seagulls almost. Like... deviations finally it's just all the little randomness and all the little unexpected things yeah it's just really beautiful okay so let's uh let's look into some other things let's go let's just check out the solo cello um and we'll we can check the combinations too let's um let's check the uh the ricochets because someone mentioned and i do uh i think i do have that uh let's pop the delay on there Monsieur, good to see you, and uh, thank you. It's, I think it's, you said it's your first time catching us live, so welcome on this joyful journey. We just have fun here, and you know we don't know too much what's going to happen. <laughs> All we know is going to be fun. Okay, 
so real quick, let's uh, check out the, the combinations. So this is the violin and cello combined doing the same articulations here. So let's see what we've got. Let's just start with... Just might just be the decay. I'm gonna just hit my um, MIDI reset. Okay, yeah. So how beautiful is that? And then we can do the same things. We can just hold that shift and select deviations, for instance, and the piano is out there. Let's just ride this. It's not static. I love the fact that 
the developers are just giving us things that are alive. The sounds are alive. The performances are alive. It just infuses life into whatever you play. You know, you're just not stale or just sitting there. And that propels you to be more creative and adventurous when you're working on things. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, so um, this is kind of cool. Um, they give us uh, a, what's called a dulcicord. And a dulcicord is a very rare uh, tabletop piano. And it's just really cool. Um, and I think it's kind of neat that they 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 put this in this. This is like uh, when when you take all of the parts when you take all of the parts of this uh, particular library together. It's not just a string library. Uh, they give you this dulcicord too, and they give you some synths. We'll, we're going to take a look at that, and then uh, granular. They put a granular engine in there, so you got four different things. So it's it's like a really interesting toolkit. I guess it, I'm seeing this more and more where developers are giving us not just one thing, but they're giving us something that we can use as a toolkit together. So this is the dulcicord. chord. <laughs> and it's a, it's got a limited range. atmospheres of this man. It's it's like a dulcimer sound, but Spheres, so we can hear the sound of the. Uh... We'll stretch it out a little bit more for us.
just hear that. the tape delay. Street, uh, Hill Street Blues there. Okay, let's see. Let's get back out here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> let's pop the, uh, I've been saying that a lot. Let's pop this out here. Let's take the key noises down. So what we'll do, I'm going to just load, let's zoom out here. I'm going to load another, another instance in this same slot. Let's go to the uh, viola and cello combine. And so what this does, it's going to load another instance down beneath and make sure that's set to, um, to one. again <laughs> I'm getting lost again let's see let's uh let's check this out so um yeah so Justin yeah there are a bunch of other textures that we can get into so yeah, yeah let's see we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 
13, 14. We've got 16, 16 different textures. And what's really cool is that they let you know what textures are already loaded into one of the slots. So uh, Verdant and Umbra are loaded. So when we look at this, uh, look at this chart, we can see like little asterisks are surrounding the ones that are already uh, allocated to a slot. So let's just, um, let's do this. Let's just listen to some of these uh, textures by themselves. And uh, this is Ethos and And as always, Fracture Sounds uses these. Um... Yes, that's right. So the little the little braces surrounding is the are you know it it just denotes yeah this that's the one that's currently loaded. All of the textures and atmospheres are derived from the sample material. So these are all textures derived from the dulcicord and that kind of thing. So that's ethos. Let's just start with at the top with nebula. And these can be used on their own. Very beautiful. And let's see, Vortex. Very complex. But then when you have them underneath something, let's mute. Uh, Vortex, uh, Astral. And then when you have three of these combined, it just can really get very complex, very nice, very beautiful. Spheres that we can use to mix and match. And let's see. We've got a synth. Yeah, it's just like you've got cellos and violins, and now they throw um, they throw a synth stack to you. Uh, and this is kind of kind of wild. Let's see here. And this is like processed from modular, a lot of modular things uh, that uh, got three layers. And the mod wheel just acts as a blend. So if we've got it all the way down, it's just going to be in layer one. And as we push it, it'll bring in layer two. And then when we push it all the way, it'll bring in layer number three. Lo-fi knob that's in all of the different uh, 
and it just kind of adds some personality. Like saturation, tape saturation and marble and And then what we can do, we can go through here and look at this. We've got, look at all of these different, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. <laughs> three. <laughs> Nine. Twelve. Fifteen. Eighteen. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty. Like thirty, like thirty of those. Thirty different tape textures. I mean, the synth textures or synth. And what we can do, we can go in here and, and shuffle shuffle these around, and it's going to pull in. and that kind of thing. So let's just shuffle a couple of times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's listen to that. Yeah, they got the low pass and high pass. You can just kind of dial in. And you can automate this as well. You can kind of just assign that to a knob or a fader or an automation lane. And then if you like one of these synth layers and you can randomize them again, but you hit the little lock icon there um, and then that will just kind of take it out. Let's see, like the, uh, the propeller. Yeah, let's see, let's see what, uh, let's see what this would. So let's lock the drywall tape and acid swell, and then you hit the lock, and then that will keep it from being shuffled. Now it's only gonna shuffle the third layer. And we can do the octave shift. See if we can go down the octave or up an octave so we can shift octaves. Wild. And now let's see. Yeah, you can stay. I mean, this the thing is, is all this is all part of the same, uh, the same library, which is so cool. And then we've got the granular engine. This is a new granular engine that they've they've been working on. Man, it's just so cool. Then we've got snapshots for these. Um, we've got snapshots for these here. Let's see. Wow. Let's look at one of um, Alex's. Um, Presets. This is a, a snapshot. It's a long flight. Again, this is using um, the sample material from the violoncello and dulcet chord re recordings, just kind of. in the premiere showed us some really cool things that we can do. Yeah, we can slide the loop points around. Let's see what that's doing. Exactly, Steph. Yeah, that's that's the that's the beauty of it is that this this is all part of the same universe, the, the same samples and listen to that. Just, uh, we've got control over the, the 
grain shapes and the density. It's got a lot of flexibility. And the intensity. And then we can adjust the spray. Listen to that, wow. And we can move the position of the Let's take the speed. And it's fun to experiment. And then we can reverse, we can reverse the grains. back in. That's crazy. <laughs> Let's go to another one of Alex's snapshots. Uh, cassette sustains. Then we can shuffle, uh, use that shuffling icon. And then, you know, here again, we can lock down uh, parameters that we want to um, just stay the same when we, um, when we do that. So let's just hit it. Um, Let's go to rooted dulcet chord and see. Oh wow! <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Just a lot of wild possibilities there. Uh, strings. Let's see. Kansas. That that looks familiar. I mean, that, that looks interesting. And see, here are some of the... Um, uh, some of the waves that we can choose here. We've got the synths, strings, and dulcet chord. Sound set, sound resources here, and this is on emergent slow. Let's just check out one more. Uh, let's do the soft uh, snapshot. Ursa Major. Wow, listen to that. Thank you. 
violas and cellos. And then we went, then we went with this wild uh, pian piano. And now here, here we are here. It's like, how do we get here? And fracture sounds, just, just thinking outside of the box. I think Will, um, Will Bedford, uh, you know, the, the, the head fracture sounds guy said that this was probably like one of his favorite libraries that they've produced because they just went for it. They just went for so many different things and packed so many different things here. Yeah, and the, and the tempting thing to do is to um, is just load load up something. <laughs> okay, it's just to load up a dulcet chord, you know. And I'm going to extend this range here. Jeremiah, good to see you. Let's choose another granular preset or snapshot here with a synth. Let's go with another soft one. Nostalgia pad. Just amazing. I love working with those guys, and they're just taking it. Yeah, that dulcet chord is just really surprising. 